uh, it is a difficult period. And most of all, in, in these days when there are legalistic issues and, and, and things to deal with, we can't forget that this is very much about a, a human story and our thoughts go out to Steve and uh, some of the challenges he's facing and also the bravery of him and his family and the other players coming out and, 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 and airing their concerns and their worries in public. And we know that must have been a difficult situation for them. And first and foremost, um, in these legalistic times, however, this is very much a human story. Um, and we recognize what, what, uh, what's happening here. And we recognize the difficulties that the families are going through and, and, and then bringing these stories in, into, into public. And we applaud them for doing that. And also in the context of how they've stated their motivation here is, is really to improve the game and make it better and safer for, for future generations coming through. And, and we would certainly share that and we would certainly take that to heart. And it's impossible not to be moved by it. And again, I'll reference what Graham Rountree had to say um, uh, this morning. Um, if you're not moved by this, then, then frankly, you probably shouldn't be in the game. But it's also important, I think, to, to state that it's also not a time to hide and it's not a time to go missing. And it's really a time to be open and transparent and make sure that we're taking all of the information in, that we're assessing it correctly and that we're making the necessary changes and carrying on with the programs that are already in place uh, to ensure that we've got the safest possible game across all the different levels that we compete in, whether it's professional, community or wherever. And we do take player welfare extremely seriously. I want to, I want to assure you and uh, reassure you uh, of that. It, it features in every single strategic document that we have. Uh, it was part of my interview process. Uh, it was going on in the, in, in the RFU prior to me arriving. And, uh, and we take player welfare extremely seriously. Uh, there's a lot of very good work has been done around fact-based research and evidence and an evidence-led approach to concussion surveillance, how you educate around it, how we increase awareness of it, how we manage it. And, uh, and we are recognized and held up as being one of the leaders, if not the leading concussion awareness and education program, certainly in sport in, in the UK, and we're copied by a number of others and we're consulted in terms of our approaches on that. So therefore we, we do feel confident that we've got very strong programs in place around that concussion surveillance, management, education, and how you deal with it. But it, it is a journey that has no conclusion to it. You know, this is not a project that has a start date and a finish date. This is something that we know we have to continually work on as players get fitter, stronger, find ways to uh, uh, adapt to and, 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 and operate within that rule framework. And it's something that uh, will, will, have no, uh, will have no conclusion to it. It's important to stress and point out, actually, we haven't received any formal legal approaches yet. So all we're, all we're knowledgeable about is what we're reading currently and what we're reading in the media. So we don't have any specific case or, or specific conditions that have been laid out for us. So it's a bit premature, really, and hypothetical to speculate on, on what's going on, what's going there. Um, and we haven't got into any detailed discussions around insurance or cover because we, we don't know the nature of, of, of what's being presented yet literally echo what bill said what you know for me looking at russell and for everyone it's it's thinking about steve and uh, alex michael you know first and foremost it's them as people but just what bill said i played in that era uh, that that was my era i played against steve when he was steve walters not steve thompson uh, when he was a young kid you know and we all go back to that stage and um we we knew what we knew we were incredibly well looked after with the knowledge that we had then and all i've seen as time goes on, I, I, you think back when you were then and you were, you saw the way boot technology has gone. Every bit of technology has improved uh, generation on generation and year on year. And I always felt incredibly well looked after in that period of time. I love my rugby. I, I find it really difficult listening and hearing, you know, what, what, what we're reading about at the moment. But we'll get more facts on that as time goes on. But I also now just focus on what has I've seen happen and evolve and the, the way players are looked after and monitored and loaded and the regulations through the game, the law adaptations as you go through the age groups, etc. People are incredibly well looked after and I know we'll continue to push the envelope to make sure that gets better and better and better. Mm -hmm.